by our dear friend, Mr. Kent Dunbar, who is our uh, resident blues expert. We do our uh, two-hour radio show every year before the Kitchener Blues Festival. Welcome back, Kent. Uh, it's great to be here. You can see me over there. There's stuff in the way. Actually, Kent probably prefers, prefers up. Yeah. I don't need to see Daryl. And, yeah. and we are joined, uh, we are really, really proud to, uh, to be joined now by Mr. Tom Gray from uh, Delta Moon, who will be performing, actually going to be performing a bunch of times this weekend, uh, Tom. Yes, good morning. Uh, we're playing tonight. 7.30 on the main stage, and then I'm doing a songwriter workshop tomorrow on the BIA stage, and then we're going to have a big party at the Boathouse on Sunday night. Right on, yeah, Boathouse is a lot of fun too. Now this uh, this festival, this uh, uh, this is the sixth year that we've been doing doing this with uh, with Kent, and uh, it's it's just great that every year the festival gets better and better, and every year we say, you know what, I don't know how you're going to top this, and every year you manage to do it again, and uh, you know, uh, for you, I mean, you played a little bit of everything. I mean, let's face it, you've done, gone from new wave to uh, to uh, you know playing some rock music, and, and now you know you're, you're on the blues, and you've uh, recorded or you've had your songs recorded by some of the big ones. We're going to talk about that in a moment. Uh, but you know, you've hit a bunch of different blues festivals. How does how does this one rank for you? Oh, Kitchener's right up there at the top for us. That's for sure. There you go. There you go. Now, Ken, you had a question too. Yeah, I, I just, I mean, Tom, I, I know you guys have done, as uh, Daryl said, the New Waves thing and the rock thing, and how did you end up in the blues, and what's kept you in the blues? Well, I started out playing rock, but uh, the, the blues, are, it's a wellspring that all American music comes from, North American music. It uh, really is the roots of it all, and, and I've traced it backwards. I started out listening to, you know, the Beatles or whatever, and but didn't realize, well, all this sounds like this, sounds like this, just going backwards, and uh, it really is just uh, the blues from the backbeat. Yeah. Do you think, I mean, I, I get the sense in both across North America uh, that the blues is growing as a genre, and, and I think it is in North America, like your comment on that, but I also know you guys have been doing a lot of shows in Europe as well. Yes. Uh, we just got back a week ago today. We were in Italy, and uh, southern Italy is crazy for the blues. Probably a dozen blues festivals in Sicily and Calabria, and just in August alone. The mafia love the blues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing goes with the blues like spaghetti and red wine. <laughs> That's the way we feel about it. Everybody's watching the stage, they can dump the bottles. Yeah, exactly. Now, the other thing we were talking about, Tom, was, uh, and I know this is, sometimes people don't necessarily like to talk about it, but I mean, uh, you know, the importance of, of things like, uh, you know, music in schools, and, and one of the, I think it's one of the, the lost things in North America because with everything, you know, everyone's trying to, to streamline cut budgets, do whatever you can, and uh, usually one of the first things to get drops are the arts, music, yeah. gone, and uh, and I mean, we were talking about how, you know, how what, that's almost criminal when you really think about it. I agree. I, uh, when they, I, I, well, I don't want to do a lot of big long thing about no. it. No, I just totally agree. I think uh, having the, the kid's brain lined up, enjoying music and the arts, if that's cut away. You know what's left? It's uh, that's it's part of learning too, but it's maybe on a lower level. You know that we're not aware of all the time. That's not like learning history or math, but uh, the, the kids' brains are developing. They need that. Exactly. They need an, out an outlet too, right? So yeah, yeah. I mean, music is used so much in, in rehab these days and everything else. I mean, it's proven that, that it does stimulate different parts of the brain, and it's a shame that it's being taken away. Yeah. Now we we had uh, we're always treated as such great shows. Blues Festival again this year. We're looking, to, we're looking over 80 free shows, which is fantastic. I mean, and every and there's every little coffee shop, and, and they're just uh, they're just events going on all over the place. Uh, anyone in particular that you're looking forward to checking out while you're here? Or? Well, I saw Los Lobos last night. They were right at the top of my list. That was something else. That's a great. Yeah, yeah, they were show stealers last night. I could not get over how amazing that performance was. Just sucked you right in. It was uh, it was something else. There were a lot of people walking around going, "Wow, I never knew that they were you know that kind of event." And that's the thing about the blues festival, which I think is really great. It's an educational thing, as well as being, of course, uh, very entertaining. Is that you know people can go and, and go, "Wow, I, I didn't know that that was a connection to the rock music that I love," or even and in some cases, uh, you know, even even some of the dance music and stuff. It's all influenced by the blues, and so many people just don't realize that. And uh, it's a great opportunity for people to to uh, become aware. Yeah, Keith Richards said, if you don't know the blues, there's no point in picking up the guitar and playing rock or any other form of popular music for that matter. It's the backbone. And he says, uh, kids these days talk all the time about rock, and they've completely forgotten about the roll. <laughs> 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 right? 
go, Keith. Wow. <laughs> Man, he's free to go. <laughs> All right. So uh, now, aside from uh, Tom, uh, the uh, some of the the, the uh, artists who have recorded songs that you have written, uh, we have Manfred Mann, we favorite of mine, Carlene Carter, and many others, and uh, also a song that. I mean, it's not necessarily a rock tune, but it's a, a extremely, an extremely well-known song by Cindy Lauper, and uh, it was one that you wrote, and you're going to perform that for us. Yes, I am. I've got uh, this weird hot rod. Yeah, we were going to ask, what is that thing? It's sort of an Appalachian dulcimer, it's, uh, except it's kind of hot rodded up with a pickup in it and all the frets. It's, I don't know if there's another one quite like it, but it's sort of traditional in a way. I, I, that's pretty cool. It's Tom Gray from Delta Moon, uh, who will be performing tonight, 7.30, main stage at the Kitchener Blues Festival, and uh, performing a song that he wrote that was a big hit for Cindy Lauper, a song called Money Changes Everything. Changes Everything, the song that was a big hit for Cindy Lauper, written by Tom. And uh, look, we really appreciate you going by here this morning and hanging out with us. Hey, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Oh, that's awesome. We're looking forward to uh, checking you out tonight. 7.30, main stage, will be Delta Moon. And uh, we also actually have uh, a CD. It's, I think that's it's right. song 18 on here. It's a Delta Moon tune. 13. The, uh, Number 13. Song 13. Uh, TD, we have the uh, TD Kitchener Blues Festival CD. We'll uh, hook someone up with that. Take caller number 5, 519 624 1075 and uh, we are looking really forward to this weekend uh, enjoy Tom again thank you so much Ken Dunbar thanks for bringing Tom in and uh, spending some time with us and always 
as always, being our blues dude, man. Oh, thanks, man. It's a yeah. pleasure. All good times. All right. Thanks, guys. And uh, we're going to get back. Oh, Marco Fox is coming in. That's a right. Moments. You have to go home now. So now that we've done this, we've set this up. And all week long, we've managed to make it so that, you know, it's, it's a good thing when Marco comes in. Now we've just set the bar so high. And Marco might as well just take the rest of the day off. Yeah. Let's <laughs> see what I'll do. All right. Hey, have a great weekend. Uh, the Kitchener Blues Festival, over 80 free shows. It'll be going on all weekend long. There's a contingency plan if there's any issues with the uh, with the weather. Yeah. So we'll keep you posted here at Dave FM. Keep watching Twitter or keep your eyes on Twitter, Facebook. Uh, there, Yeah, there will be some wet stuff, but there are also going to be some good breaks in the weather too. It's going to be perfect. It's always fun. Always great. Kitchener Blues Festival. All the details, kitchenerbluesfestival.com. And DaveFM.com can do this one. Here we go. Thanks, guys. Mandy, thanks, thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, have a great weekend. Marco's on the way in in just moments.